The Ducks will kick it off to get us underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. First down here for the offense. Looking for a gap, it's Marks. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And they try to run that sweep out right. I like going to the wide side of the field, getting somebody the ball that can really, really run. Just got to block it up a little better. Give him a chance to at least get that edge. And then he might be able to do some more damage. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. To throw, it's Moss. Gets it to the back. Crosses the 30, he's got away. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. The Trojans have it with a first and 10. He's looking to throw it. He uncorks one deep. And it's caught inside the 30. Touchdown, Trojans! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. And the extra point was good to finish things off. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Robinson. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. First down here for the offense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. The Ducks come to the line in the hurry up. Looking to throw on second down. Snagged on the outside, it's James. And that play just never got started as he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. Finds his man down the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Oh, a big decision here early as they leave the offense on the field in their own territory. They want to keep this opening drive alive. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. He'll throw it. And it's batted away, and the fourth down play doesn't convert. They'll give up the football. Aggressive. You want to be aggressive, you want to take chances, and you tell your team about it all week, and you come out and you get an opportunity in the first half to, to go for it on fourth down. You, you shot your shot. The problem is now you put your defense in a bad situation early in this game where you're going to have to try to find a way to get a stop and create some momentum. Caught behind the line. It's Marks. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. And that's why if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there.
A first down run on the doorstep. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And lost ground on first down. Now second and goal from the five. Looking for a path to the end zone to the right. Relentless tough running gets it down to the four. This has been really good for the defense, too. It's kind of a bend-don't-break mentality, right? Really bowing up with your backs against the wall. If you can win this next third down, try to force the opponent into a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. They'll try to open the quarter by cashing in on this big opportunity deep in the red zone. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. Absolute shame. Missed it. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Running with power. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Wants to throw. It's Gabriel. Scrambling away. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Trying to pick it up on the ground. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. And the Ducks want to move quickly. On fourth down, they're taking to the air. Looking to the big tight end. And they gambled in their own end, and now they give up really good field position. It's really early in the game right now, and if it's fourth and short, fourth and medium, maybe I see going for it, certainly. But fourth and long, that's a situation I think you got to punt and just let the game play out. Trust your defense a little bit more. Looking to go up top on first down. Makes the grab. It's Marks. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Cal! When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity, and boy, he took advantage of it. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points, and you've got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut into a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. Comes out throwing on first down. Looking to scramble. A strike downfield. His defense giving up ground. He's finally knocked down at the 26. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving. It's first and 10. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. 
The Ducks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The back goes in motion. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Looking for the score. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut it. It's a fake, and the kicker's going to throw it. He makes the grab in the end zone. They must have seen something on film as they turn the fake into the two-point conversion. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Right down the middle. And he intercepts it. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Timing has to be so good. They're throwing in his own defense over the middle of the field. The ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late as a result. It's an INT. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage and they've got it on the 22. Looking for a man. It's Gabriel. He's got his man. How nice is it in this offense to have your best receiver playing in the slot? You're matching him up against linebackers, against safeties, or nickel corners. Nickel corners are oftentimes the defense's third best cornerback. This guy is virtually uncoverable. They're trying to get to it. Pulls it in. It's Ferguson. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, these plays are just so demoralizing for defenses. You, have, you did a good job. You got him in a third and predictable situation. What does he do? Finds a way out of it. Makes a big play. Now he's set up first and goal. Forget that play. Now let's hold him to a field goal. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. There was just nowhere to cut back. Great job by the defense, and he'll have to take the loss. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Now the play fake. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Ducks. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense, too. If I've got a matchup, I love it. They fake it. The kicker's looking to pass. He's in the end zone, and they'll put two more on the board just before halftime. Now they'll try to get another possession with an onside kick. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. We're only in the first half, and I don't think anybody had onside kick in the second quarter on their bingo card. They were trying to catch the opponent off guard, but it didn't work. Now let's find out what this offense could do. You've got to make them pay for gambling. He's got it down the left side. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Trojans. What great execution by this offense. It looked like you were about to go into the half trailing. Now, with this answer, this scoring drive, you got the lead. You got the momentum. Taking it into halftime. Nice job by this offense executing that last drive. 
Dropping back, it's Mop. Forget the kick, he's going to throw it. Pass is incomplete, and that's going to do it for the first half. And the Trojans will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. Fielded in the end zone. It's Robinson. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments. They've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. The Ducks racing to the line in a hurry up. It's a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Well, they haven't been able to get it done on fourth down so far today. They've missed on their first two attempts. Is the third time the charm. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And they can't connect a costly turnover on down. I love when defenses are smart enough to swat the ball down. Don't go for the pick, especially on fourth down. They knock it down. You get the ball anyways. Nice job by the defender. Looking for room. It's Marks. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. Throwing right. And that pass picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. You know, I like the decision by the quarterback in terms of where he was going with the ball. Just don't like the accuracy. That was not good location on the throw. Got away from him a little bit. The defense able to come up with a big play. Off play action on first down. Complete on the shuffle. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the ground. Quickly out to the tight end. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. It's not just a dual threat guy. You go back to Dan Fouts or Bill Musgrave or even Justin Herbert and passers not in short supply for the Ducks. And when you think about the Ducks, you, you always think about the fancy uniforms. I think that's one of the first things that come to mind, but the guys you just named, it's been built on flash, but it's also been built on substance. Great players in their tradition, in their history. And just like now, just in the recent history, Bo Nix, another one of those guys that's put up big numbers. Single back formation, and they give it to him. At the 20, he's got space. Touchdown, Oregon! They take the lead with the six. Boy, did he just scorch that defense for that score. He shows you all of it. He's got, he's got the speed. He's got the agility. This dude's a big-time playmaker. You just give him the ball, and he'll find different ways to kill you on different plays. They're bringing heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. 
after throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you've got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. Using his legs to buy some time. Got him downfield. Afterburner's coming. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. That type of big play can even make Traveler perk up and take notice. And, man, when I think about USC and just their pass, I just think about explosive. Explosive playmakers making explosive plays down the field, finding those big wide receivers, making big plays. They bring him down. He's got a first down, but that might be the final play of the third quarter. The Trojans come to the line with a new set of downs. They keep attacking through the air. That's reeled in. It's Marks. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. And the Trojans have pushed it inside the 20. To the air, it's Moss. Quarterback floating away from pressure. Gets rid of it. He finds his man. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. On first down from the 13-yard line. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. And that is interception number three on the day. He's just Johnny on the spot. And now his second interception of the game, doing a great job reading the quarterback's eyes. And he's just been in the right place at the right time making plays. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. Okay, Jesse, this is a little bit of a tight spot. You'd love to be aggressive enough to get the first down, but you've got to take care of the ball first. No doubt. I was going to say, ball security is at a premium. You cannot turn the football over at this point. The defense has three timeouts left, David, so probably conservative play calling here. You're expecting them to try to run to ice this game. Conservative, I know they're going to be aggressive, but I also know that one first down ends this football game. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. Powers through the defender. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll give it to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TF on. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Looking for a man. It's Gabriel. Got his man down the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And the Ducks headed quickly to the line. He wants to throw. Dances away from the pressure, going to his left. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Unleashes one. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. All right, that's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Here he goes breaking the pocket. Another incompletion on third down. Now this is rolling the dice, or perhaps they've gone outside their head. They're already up. Boy, this could really backfire if they don't convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's taken away by the defense, and they desperately needed that turnover. Got some room to run. Inside the 10. And it's going to be a pick six. 
Touchdown, USC! How about that play by this defense? The offense trying to salt the game away with the lead. Defense makes the biggest play of the ball game, getting the pick, finding the end zone, and taking the lead late in this ball. Game. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. Coming out with it, it's Whittington. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he'd just taken a knee in the end zone. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position, too. Makes the grab down the left side. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Wants to throw on first down. Got a man. It's Johnson. Hides a crease at the 20. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America. And you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Yeah, and it's, it's hard, and this is the hardest time because you've got to have plays, you've got to have scripts, because you know they're sitting back with all the DBs on the field in a dime package playing pass. How can we get first downs? How can we complete passes and get out of bounds to try to save some of this clock as we move the ball down the field? Of the gun, the inside give. Touchdown, Ducks! And they've got the lead in the final minute. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Leading by one, they'll go ahead and go for two try to make it a field goal game. Looking to throw, it's Gabriel. It's caught. The two-point try is good, and now it's a three-point game. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll take a knee. It's a touchback save every second he can as they try to put together this final drive. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. And they only need a field goal, and they have to manage the time wisely here. Yeah, I think you want to manage the clock, Reese. Be smart with your timeout situation. Know where to attack, Jesse, on the field right now. Yeah, generally, you want to attack with your best player. So get them in matchups that you like and get those guys the football. Timeout is called by the offense. 16 seconds left in the game. He wants to pass it on second down. He's taking the deep shot. And that's going to be incomplete. Going for broke on second down. The third down's coming up. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Pass is incomplete and we dwindle down to seven seconds. Well, the defense finally showing some life there. It's been tough sledding too because this offense has been lighting them up through the air, but a nice individual effort that time forcing the incompletion. Trailing by a possession. They need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He wants a big play here late. And he's got it inside the 25. Touchdown, Trojans. And in the final moment, they've taken the lead. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. Man, that was exhilarating. Incredible game from start to finish. And I mean the very finish. And you have to dial in at those moments, right? It's easier said than done. Oh, I'm going to call this. But in the clutch, when you need it the most, you've got to put possessions together. You've got to get in the end zone to come through. 